Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new changes included on Windows 10 build 17025. This is a new test version of Windows 10, part of the uh, next release due in 2018, which is currently known as the uh, Redstone 4 or version 1803. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in this release. In Windows 10 build 17025, Microsoft is enabling Fluent Design or more places, including in the calendar view for the notification area. So now when you open the uh, clock flyout, you will see the uh, new reveal highlight effect as you hover over the uh, calendar dates, but only on these numbers. Based on feedback, Microsoft also updated the uh, light effect, also part of the uh, Fluent Descent system when clicking an element when using the settings app. So let me just go ahead and change the color to a dark theme so you can see this so when I click the uh, button you will see that effect that has been softened starting on this bill so let me just go back and change the uh, color to light also on bill 16025 easy of access is getting updated and now the settings are divided in in groups to make it easier to see hear and interact with the settings more quickly microsoft also notes that the settings description has been improved to make it easier to understand and when going to and when trying to configure different settings you will see you will see tips for example like right here where you can see the shortcut that you can use to turn on the magnifier. And finally, on build 17025, Windows 10 is introducing a new feature that allows you to control tasks from an app to run and startup. So, right now, if you go to apps and apps and features, and then just select an app and then go to the advanced options you won't find that option included but as developer start implementing the uh, feature you will see an option that it's labeled right now runs at login that allows you to specify which tasks from that particular app can run a startup and that's basically all that's new with the Windows 10 build 17025. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.